Good nutrition starts with smart shopping. And if you're going to eat according to the Mayo Clinic Healthy Weight Pyramid, it starts here at the grocery store. Come with me, we'll do some smart shopping, and we'll improve your health. Here at Mayo Clinic, we recommend following the Mayo Clinic Healthy Weight Pyramid. At the bottom are fruits and vegetables, followed by whole grain carbohydrates, lean sources of protein and dairy, further up, heart healthy fats, and at the top are sweets. At the center of the pyramid is daily physical activity. Today we're going to go shopping. Shopping may not seem exciting to many people, but to me it's important and powerful. Food is medicine, and I want to choose the healthiest food I can to give me the best medicine to keep me healthy. Some of the hints that I do before going shopping, I try and eat something. I don't want to come hungry and just get everything on the shelves. Also, I try and prepare ahead of time. I figure out what meals I'm going to have for the week, and I make a list right here. And finally, I shop in the periphery first. That's where the vegetables and fruits are usually located and a great place to start. We have some carrots. Carrots are high in beta carotene. That's what gives them the orange color. Carrots and potatoes and corn have kind of gotten a bad name because they're high in what's called the glycemic index. That means how much a food will raise your blood sugar. However, there isn't many calories in here. You have to eat a whole lot of them to raise your blood sugar, and the nutrients they provide, in my view, more than make up for their slightly high glycemic index. Red peppers, many people don't know that they're very high in vitamin C, in fact, more than orange juice. These are another favorite of our kids. Children like simple food. We slice them up and just serve them on their own. One of the important things about vegetables is variety and color. Many vegetables have different colors, and if you get the different colors, you're going to get the different nutrients. So try and aim for a colorful diet. Greens like cilantro contain an awful lot of nutrients. The darker the green, the more the vitamins and nutrients. They add a lot of flavor without a lot of calories, and you get maximum nutrient density. There are many different varieties of lettuce. Sometimes people get stuck on iceberg lettuce, but if you look at all the different varieties here, the tastes are different. You can explore this and make many different types of salads. Once again, the darker the green, the more nutrients they have in it. Broccoli is a member of the cruciferous vegetable family. And these vegetables in particular have a lot of anti-cancer properties. There's a compound called isothiocyanates in broccoli. We don't expect you to, to spell that, but the more you eat, the healthier you're going to be. Nuts and seeds are relatively high in calories, but they provide a lot of flavor. Uh, they're great to add in salads. And nuts have been shown to be re related to reduced risk of heart disease in at least a dozen studies. Blueberries are an antioxidant powerhouse. There's oxidation that occurs in the body, and it's related to aging, and it may be related to heart disease, atherosclerosis, or the buildup of plaque in the arteries of the heart that cause a heart attack. Blueberries contain some of the highest content of antioxidants of any food. Kids love them. They're great on cereal. You can use them in different uh, fruit salads. You can munch on them at any time. It's hard to overdose on blueberries. There's usually an organic section in many supermarkets. Organic is good for the environment. In fact, there are some health benefits to organic food, but the major impact may be on the environment. There's less pesticides and other products to contaminate the environment when growing organic produce. Apples contain a lot of soluble fiber. And you know the old saying, an apple a day is going to keep me away. And that's a good thing. Don't get stuck on one brand of apple. Many people just eat a delicious apple thinking that's the only one available. There are many, many different kinds of apples, all with their own flavor and taste characteristics. Be adventurous and enjoy uh, different types of apples. 
There are some myths associated with avocados. Some people think they're high in saturated fat. They are high in fat, but it's mainly monounsaturated fat, heart healthy fat. Other monounsaturated fats come from different nuts, olive oil, and canola oil. So try an avocado on your salad, or put it in guacamole and have it with some, some whole grain chips if you can find them. This can be a good addition to any, anyone's diet. Garlic has many different health benefits. It lowers cholesterol a little bit, it thins out the blood, it may have some anti-cancer properties, and according to legend, it keeps vampires away. If you like the taste of garlic, you can add it to different Mediterranean dishes, salads, pastas. It adds a wonderful flavor. It's lycopene that gives tomatoes its red color. Lycopene is a type of carotenoid compound, similar to beta-carotene, which gives carrots its orange color. What's interesting about lycopene in tomatoes is when you cook the tomatoes, the lycopene is released, making it more available to the body. So that's one vegetable that when you cook it, the health benefits actually improve. Who doesn't like orange juice or oranges for breakfast? One of the tips that I give people who are trying to watch their calories is, eat the orange instead of the juice. The reason why is, if you were gonna make your own juice, you might grind up three, four, possibly even five oranges, depending on the size of the glass. You're gonna get all the calories from that juice from three, four, or five oranges. However, if you're gonna eat an orange, you usually just eat one, and you'll get the benefit of the fiber in it. Bread has sometimes gotten a bad rap, sometimes justifiably so. White flour is basically refined carbohydrate and doesn't have a lot of nutrient density. However, whole grains have been shown to be associated with a reduced risk of heart disease and have other health benefits. When you're shopping for bread, try and get whole wheat bread, whole grain bread, or something with whole grains in it that's the healthiest choice. There usually is a bakery section in most grocery stores. It's loaded with sweets and treats, donuts, and other pastries. This is something where I try and be judicious with my calories. If I'm gonna have a sweet, I go for quality instead of quantity. I may have a small piece of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has been associated with health benefits and has some antioxidants in it that help reduce the risk of certain diseases. So if I'm gonna get my calories, I wanna make them go a long way and get the best bang for my buck in terms of health, rather than waste my calories on many foods that don't have a lot of nutrient value. Fish are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, especially fatty fish, such as salmon. At least two servings of fish a week have been associated with reduced risk of sudden death because of this type of omega-3 fat. There are many different varieties of fish to eat, Women who can become pregnant and children need to watch their total intake of fish because of the mercury content and other uh, compounds in the fish. Enjoy fish at least a couple times a week if you like the taste. There are many different types of meat available. If you do choose meat and you like the taste, go for quality instead of quantity. Try and get a good tasting piece of meat, hopefully low in saturated fat, because saturated fat tends to raise serum cholesterol. Many people choose not to eat meat, and that's okay. There are many different sources of protein other than meat. Many people are eating chicken these days as an alternative to red meat. If you do eat chicken, try and avoid the skin. That's where a lot of the fat is located. And remember, try and watch portion size. Some of my patients tell me, I'm not eating much red meat, but I'm eating tons of chicken. There's still a lot of calories in chicken, and there's no requirement for chicken, red meat, or pork in the diet. If you like the taste, enjoy it in moderation. Dairy products provide calcium and are fortified with vitamin D. If you choose to drink milk, try and choose a low-fat variety. If when you first try it, it may take a little getting used to. Soon you'll be enjoying the taste, and whole milk will taste like cream.
diets can't be beat with frozen vegetables. In addition, sometimes the nutrients in frozen vegetables are even more in fresh because they're frozen right after they're picked and that preserves the nutrients. Stock up on them, they store well, and it makes great timing for a quick meal. Soda is loaded with calories. In one can of regular soda, there's around 150 calories. A six pack of regular soda per day could add up to pounds per week. If you do drink soda, try diet soda, or better yet, water. It's the best fluid there is for the body. Earlier, we talked about shopping the periphery first, where the vegetables and fruits are. In many other aisles, there's a lot of processed food. And remember, it starts here. If it goes in your cart, it goes in your house, it will be in your mouth. Now that we've shopped for food, we'll visit with a registered dietitian from Mayo Clinic who will give you simple techniques and food tips for your condition.